Oh, he's going, he's trying to take the legs, he's trying to take the legs. Oh shit. Oh shit, Wolfie's got. Oh my god. Yes, guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are heading back to Beaufort. We are doing a Jaylings Dambo session. If you don't know already, Jaylings is now being coached by Dambo. He's going to do a weekly series, so every Wednesday there's a new video coming out. So, yeah, we're going to take a shoulder session for a spin, and of course, using Wolf Pump V2. What are you going with today, Matt? Between the juice on juice. Juice on juice. And just the juice. OG juice. So I reckon send send a bit of juice on juice. Wild Mayo Mart shopping in the supplement shop. By the way, what what time is it right now? Uh, it's well, it's definitely later than ten, which is what we agreed initially, and then we had to delay that because uh, Jaylings can't tell time. So we delayed it to quarter past ten, and it's also after quarter past ten. So we need to get Jaylings some some primary school maths lessons, and, and we'll sort him out that way. I think you were injecting his uh, test and trend dose this morning. It Probably. The fact that that alone isn't enough and he has to go with the, he's, he's had to seek out the best coach around in Dambo to sort him out. He really is in dire straits, isn't he, to go and he's like, Dambo, I need your help, mate. You're the only one that can sort me out. And if anyone can sort him out, it is him. The best accolade in his locker so far. Back in Bofit, back in the Iron Forge. I am coming up to the end of my first week of my transformation with Dambo. So today, it is shoulders, full shoulder session. There is one, two, three, five exercises on there. A lot of volume, so it'll be interesting to see how you boys get on with it. I know I was struggling with the, the volume when I've been training earlier in the week, so. I probably could have done a few more, so I might go one more for the next one. 22s. 22s, yeah. You're doing the, uh, the summer bulk, summer into winter bulk. Yeah, basically. I normally do like a Christmas cut for some reason. I don't know why I do it. But And then I always end up missing out on Easter eggs you as well. To, like, oh. allow yourself a bit of <sighs> No, I think it's normally because that's about the time in my bulk where I start, all the definition starts going and I always back out because I worry about it. So this time, Pushing through whatever happens, getting the bulk. Bulk still me. About 83, 84 kilos, something like that. I'm 76 kilo now. It's to get more mileage out of lifting lighter. So it's a two second negative, a one second pause in the stretch position, and then you explode out of the rep. So you start in positions there. Up, one, two, pause. <coughs> so as you've seen me and lingers are running wolf pump v2 for this session if you're unsure about what any of the ingredients in there do check out one of our latest videos wolf pump v2 breakdown we go into all the science behind every single ingredient on there and it's a really good video nice partial Control it down. Second exercise, obviously, is midway through it. Chest support, a dumbbell lateral raise, three sets, 10 to 15 reps. Yeah, to be fair, like, shoulders is probably the one thing that I train the least, to be honest. Yeah, it's my strongest body part, but just never train them. Like, it's because of hurt. <laughs> like, just in pain all the time. Ooh. Bit of uh, bit of Sule vibes there from yeah. Maya. Like, Long limb, little partials. We often get mistaken for each other, me and Sule. So. I can see why, mate. I can see why. Look at the arms on this bloke at the minute. Get ready to watch that vein pop as the weeks go on. Look at them biceps. Oldie bouncer. Who are you going, boy? What are you on about? Who are you putting? Have you not watched Phoenix Knights? Watch what? Phoenix, Phoenix Knights. Knights yeah. Baldy bouncer. Leave it. Baldy, baldy, baldy. Baldy, baldy, baldy. Leave it! 
She's looking extra handsome today. What have you done to yourself today, man? So let's do a grand reveal. It's going to be, no, because Charles is going to edit it in here. He'll just do. I don't trust him. Make his head like this. 10 to 12, Arnold. 10 to 12, front raises. How many sets, Tom? Three sets. Three, three sets. I've done this with Marshy and it is quite difficult. It leaves you feeling pumped. Dumbo. You're starting to look a bit like Dumbo, you, you know. It's the beard and the short hair. <laughs> it's it's, de it's def it's def definitely not the the uh, the size. Oh, that's <laughs> It's mad to think that Matt is five kilos lighter than me right now. I think you're bigger than me, to be honest. I'm just got, to, I'm just taller, but even your arms, like you just look way fucking bigger. Obviously, you've got, you've got a few years on me with the what, training. Matt, five like, kilos lighter. Five kilos lighter than you know me. What, legs. No legs. He has actually got a few legs. So if we just look here, can we see on the door? And Jaylings coming out. You know that's right. that's not an advertisement. It's not. There's not actually men changing in there. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was wondering where they were actually. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, mate. At the minute, Wolfie hadn't done a single wire raise. <laughs> the wire raise. Fifteen to twenty. Is it? Is it more frontal? Why it's, so you're like that, aren't you? And you pull like that into a Y shape. Think YMCA, Wolfie. Think back to your party days. <laughs> One. Yeah, like, see, so you're out like that. Wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. You notice know, that Jalen's got shorter legs and look really long arms. He's looking looking quite simian in his build. Simian panda. Simian panda. I mean, <laughs> you're about as nice as simian panda anyway. <laughs> the thing is, though, joking aside, you've got long arms, so you're going to be fucked with this. Chimp, 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 I'm not happy about it. He's not happy about it, mate. He ain't got any reason to be happy. <laughs> I think Dumbo's watching. Alright. I'm trying. trying my best, Dumbo. 10 reps. Yes, no. He's, he's not mad, he's just disappointed. <laughs> I can see you, like, building that one up for about five seconds then. One downside of training at both it. Is Liam's cooking up a madness downstairs, mate. I just want to go downstairs and eat. I don't, I don't want to train anymore. So what are we doing here, Tom? Three sets. Three sets. Three sets. Three sets. That's what, um, 10, no, not 10 years, but seven, eight years of natural lifting looks like. You can get some pretty good gains. Get better, games. <laughs> Definitely get better. <laughs> I was talking about this exercise and how like, I feel like, for some reason, I just when I get the form right on this, I feel like there's almost no muscle there. Like I actually can't do it because I've been doing it wrong or something like that. But I think it's yeah. a problem that a lot of people run into, and this is something that I've, at the risk of sounding about 90, this is something that I've gleaned as I've got older. Dropping the weight and focusing purely on the form helps with lots of things. I think it helps with injury prevention. I think so you can get more mileage out of lighter weights. 
But the other thing is, it's that, I know they talk about it a lot, mind-muscle connection. If any exercise you think about what you're trying to train and what the muscle's supposed to do. So if you think about your chest, for example, your chest, the whole point of this muscle is to bring your arm across and down. That's yeah. kind of the pattern. Yeah. So when, whatever lift you're doing, when you're trying to focus on your chest, if you think about that actually happening, the muscle contracting and getting shorter and what it's supposed to be doing, you'll feel it a lot more with a lot less weight and you'll find that you get more growth. For me, over the last couple of years, I've had more growth than I have in the previous eight years prior from figuring that out. And I think it's a bit of a personal thing, yeah. but for like, me, that's... Like that's with me doing this for, like, you know, getting the form wrong on this, I know we've got it on the lightest weight, so it's not like I can take it down again and <laughs> actually work on the form, but by not getting the form right, obviously I'm engaging so many other muscles, whereas this exercise is targeted for you adults, but because I've not done that over time, and build that mind muscle connection and focused on it, then I'm throwing in all other sorts of different muscles into it and it's just yeah. further, you know, preventing yeah, yeah. me from actually working on that rear delt. I think that's the key. I think what you should do, the last thing you should do is put your weight up. It sounds a little bit controversial that, but until you've got a decent rep range, you've got control over the entire movement all the way through. Only once you've done that and you get into like your 10 to 12 reps or your six to eight, whatever, once you've got everything nailed, then you put the weight up and it should be almost like the minimum effective dose for putting your weight up. And it sounds really counterintuitive, but I think that's, that's the way forward. And I think you'll have a lot greater growth and a lot fewer injuries. That's my take. Training for longevity. Training for longevity. With my own map. <laughs> Online coaching coming soon. Watch this space. <laughs> All right, so that is it for this video. Training shoulders at bow fit on the Dambo Plambo. Um, I am mid Plambo right now, coming up to the end of my first week. Uh, I've got my first check in tomorrow. I'm doing a little mini vlog series documenting sort of my whole process with training, with following the nutrition plan, and um, all things sort of in my life at the moment. So there'll be some like behind the scenes, wolf sup stuff going on there. That's gonna be going out, I think every Wednesday? Yeah. Every Wednesday on the channel. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. Also check out Dambo Rambo on Instagram. Shout out Danny for letting us come and train again. And if you are in need of any personal training, be sure to hit him up. So far, so good for me. So I'm sure it will be the same for any of you guys looking for personal training. Anything to add, Matt? No. Bye, Wolf Subs. No, he's bumming him in the corner. <laughs> oh, he's going, he's trying to take the legs, he's trying to take the legs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Wolf, he's got. Oh, my God. <laughs> Round two, my friend. Take it. Keep that chin down. He's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking machine. Yeah. That takedown was nuts. When you watch this back, bro, when he takes you down, <laughs> he jumped straight on your back. I thought you were gonna. Nah, I was worried. I thought you were gonna crack your heads on that fucking box. No, I'm moving. Yeah, good, man. Yeah, good, man. Is it Neo? Hell, Neo. Start again, Neo. Oh, he's weird. Oh, you're weird. You can't win in the doom room. Baptism of fire, that's me. I love your collar as well. Yeah, it's after the beard, isn't it? You could taste coconut oil on beard. What do you think Rufus would like with him? You could murder him. No, Rufus is a big soft. When is this small? I think, yeah, like, best thing to do, mate, like, is I've never seen him in the house. We're gonna fetch him at Van and that, anyway. Yeah, I think we're gonna. I feel like uh, a puppy fix. Introducing him while he's still a pup. Yeah, yeah. Some of the lies. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, whatever the businesses in there, they've got a, a puppy. Yeah. <laughs>